Hey there, hey there, hey there, hey there. Hi, hello, hello, hello. How are you, how are you, how are you? Well, let me tell you how I am. I'm doing a little bit different in this video. Um, because this is the worst puzzle I've ever done in my life. Look at that, that piece just came out. Does that even go there? Who knows? Okay, this is the culprit. It's called Jig Time Jigsaw Puzzles. Design works ink. And it's called Leaping Lizard. <laughs> Leaping Lizards? Leaping Leopards? I can read, trust me. And this is the worst puzzle I have ever made. And I'm not even done with it. That is how much this puzzle sucks. So it was originally $7.99. Which honestly, is still too much. It's still too much. You can probably hear my cat making biscuits. My cat is making biscuits in the background. But this is lo-fi, so it's okay. We're gonna have some background noise. That's fine. But look at this. Jig. Time. Never buy this. I bought this originally at a what is that store called? Tuesday morning. I don't. I don't know. Something like that. And I bought this puzzle last Christmas, and I just got around to making it not too long ago. And it's the worst puzzle, worst puzzle I've ever made in my life. these organized so beautifully. You know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Do you know why it doesn't matter? Because these pieces are cut so terribly. Listen to them. Listen to their lies. Let me switch hands. Now this is a really pretty image. That's a really pretty image, I'll give it that. Now usually when I make a puzzle, usually when I make a puzzle, I will start with the edges. Do you see these edges? Do you see them? Okay. Usually I will start with the edges because that's how people make puzzles, right? That's what makes the most sense. You start from the outside and you go in. Well, guess what? Guess what? With this puzzle, I had to start from the inside so I could follow the pattern. Do you know why, you know why I had to do that? Do you, do you know why? It's because this puzzle is cut so badly. So many of these pieces are, are exactly the same. They're exactly the same. And you know what that means? Do you know what that means? It means that they will fit in places where they don't actually belong. Now I have pieces that don't go where they actually go. Because look at this. Let me, let me get you closer. Let me get you closer. You see? That side over there, do you see that side? Now, these are the pieces that are left. I have them organized by shape. Got these little bits. Got these two right here. These, that, blah, 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 you know. I got them organized. They're organized. Now, look at this. Look at this. Do you see those shapes? Do you see how none of them really match any of those? That means that I have to redo all of this again. I've already 
So the pieces are made really cheaply because the paper on them tries to come up when you like try to pick them um, because they're in the wrong spot and I've had some try to rip off already which sucks say hello to my cat she's sitting next to me anyways So, like I was saying, I just did these leopards. I did the leopards part yesterday. And the only reason I went with those is because it's a pattern that you can actually follow. And it went together a lot easier. Now, the rest of this puzzle is going to consume me. Because it's just a bunch of red and blue. And since the pieces... Since the pieces fit in places they don't long. It's going to suck doing this. I'm hoping that these come together easily. Like, you see these pieces right here? I don't even know if those actually go there. And I won't know until I'm trying to find the pieces that go here and that go here. And then, even then, they, they may look like they fit together, and they don't. My cat's been trying to help me with this puzzle as well, and by that I mean she steps on it and messes it up, and then she'll try and eat the puzzle pieces, so that's been fun too. Let's listen to its scream, listen to its lies. This is the worst puzzle. And you know, I thought because I haven't done a puzzle in a long time. I was like, you know, maybe I'm just maybe I'm just out of practice. Maybe I'm just out of practice. You know? Maybe I just don't know how to make a puzzle anymore. Um, if that's a thing, it's like, you know, you're not supposed to forget how to ride a bike, you're not supposed to forget how to skip, but maybe you do. Maybe you do forget how to do those things. And I was like, maybe I just maybe I just don't know how to make a puzzle anymore. And so I got online because I was like, this doesn't make sense. This doesn't make sense. I've never had a puzzle like this before. Look at that piece coming up. Get in there. Get in there. My sound went out. My sound went out for a second. My bad. Um, anyways. So I got online. Because I was like, there's no way that I'm this bad at puzzles. And you know what I found? Validation. I found validation. Let me read you these reviews that I found. These reviews on Amazon. And, um, you can see that I'm not just bad at puzzles. But it's this brand it's this jig time. Don't buy them. Don't buy them. I'm telling you right now. Do not buy these puzzles. They're pretty. Do not buy them. Let me read these reviews to you. This is the first review. And it says, never buy this brand. It says, I worked two of these puzzles after Christmas. And both were the same. Impossible. Even following the picture carefully, pieces did not fit well or match the markings. A total waste of money. And I'm like, you know what, Marie? Marie? I agree with you, Marie. Because I also got this at Christmas. I got this at Christmas um, over a year ago. But, 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 it's kind of impossible. The only reason I've gotten this far is because these pieces have to go together. Because otherwise the leopard would look weird, you know? And then I actually had to follow the pattern on the leaves here. But then this stuff? This? I don't know if any of this goes together. I mean, this has to because it follows the pattern. And this is going to be a nightmare. Who knows what's even... And this, I don't know. I don't know if that's a piece missing. Or if I've just messed up. Like I did over there. It's a nightmare. So this one? This says, Terrible puzzles. A friend bought me one of these puzzles. My wife and I do a lot of puzzles. I'm glad you and your wife do a lot of puzzles. Jay, that sounds really nice. And then they said, it was a horrible puzzle. Too many border pieces, missing pieces, etc. Do you mean that they gave you too many border pieces? Is that what he was saying? And then on top of that, there were missing pieces. Is this a missing piece? Is this missing? Did Rosalind eat it? Did my cat eat it? Or did it just not come in the box? I don't know. I don't know. It's raining outside. It's raining outside. And there's also cars coming by. So, sorry for the intermittent pulses. Okay, and then this other person says, 
said frustrating puzzle. They said if a puzzle has many pieces of the same color, it must fit perfectly and pieces must be cut in a variety of shapes. You know what? I agree because like I was literally just saying, so many of these are the exact same shape, which means they will fit in places they're not supposed to go. And it is so frustrating. They said I was trying a different puzzle at the same company, but just as difficult. I'm not sure all the pieces are there either because could not complete the frame part. And reject for straight pieces and found no additional pieces. I'm kind of worried. I'm kind of worried, guys. Am I missing pieces? Am I missing stuff? This is all the red pieces. They go at the bottom. They go at the bottom. And these are, these are all my blue pieces. Everything's beautifully organized. But I'm like, does it even matter? Does it even matter that I have these organized? Because am I just missing some? Am I just missing them and I don't know yet? And then this, re this uh, review, it says beautiful graphic, but just as others stated, impossible to do. We had multiple family members working on it for many hours and days of our holiday gathering, and they all agreed it should be burned. Do you hear that little puzzle pieces? People burned you. And you know what? They had good reason, because there's no reason for you to exist the way that you do. Why are you like this? Why are you like this, chick puzzle? Actually, excuse me, it's called chick time? Chick thought puzzles? Why are you like this? Why are you so difficult? Why do you make people burn you? What's the point? What is the point, chick time? And then this next one says, I have never bought such a terrible puzzle. It was their Christmas puzzle. I spent hours on this puzzle, and I finally decided to throw it away. The pieces do not fit together. I have made multiple puzzles in the past, and have never seen a puzzle made so horribly. Do not ever buy one of their puzzles. Like... <laughs> Let me tell you, reading these made me feel so validated, because I was like, am I insane? Do I not know how to make puzzles anymore? Do I not know how to make puzzles anymore? Or am I just, you know, or is this just a, you know, universal experience with everyone that buys these? Is it, is it, are they really this bad? Apparently, yes. And then this person says, worst puzzle experience ever. I agree with everything the other reviewer said. One missing, one, one missing, okay, they're doing numbers. One, missing one piece. Two, multiple pieces of the same color fit in the same space making it almost impossible to complete. My cat is stepping in front of the lamp because she is chaotic and she wants me to fail. She probably wants to eat one of these. Watch her. You guys watch her for me. Make sure she doesn't do anything. Uh, what were they saying? They said the poor quality. One of the edges of a piece fell off. It's a Christmas scene that I bought in November 2021. I completed it on October 28th. 2022. It took them over, almost over a year, to do this freaking puzzle. And on top of that, she said, I do puzzles to relax. This was an incredibly frustrating experience. Never again. I agree, Adrian. I also do puzzles to relax. And this, this has not been relaxing at all. Listen to them. Listen to them laugh at me. And then someone said, we did the Christmas cat puzzle this weekend, and it was the most frustrating experience ever. The piece shapes are so poorly differentiated that it is very, very difficult to comedy place places a piece of I, um, ate those words. It is difficult to confidently place pieces of similar color. We ended up ripping out sections multiple times. We even had to rework the border. But if you want to consistently second guess your decisions, falsely accuse others of stealing pieces like this cat. I know what you've done, Roslyn. And then finish a puzzle with exhaustion and loathing instead of triumph. This is the puzzle for you. I love that review. Thank you, Fred. Because I agree. 
Like once I finish this, because I'm gonna finish it. I have to. I started it. Look at it. Do you see how much of that I've already done? Do you see? And then I'm gonna have to rip this part out. I'm gonna have to, or I can't finish that side. And I'm like, why am I torturing myself with this? Like, what is the point? What is the point of torturing myself with it? Why am I still doing this? I don't know. Why am I Roz? Oh look, she's gonna step on it. Are you gonna sit on it? Look at her little balls. What is she doing? Yeah, that's how she helps me. She just sits on it. Gosh, she's such a good cat. Thank you so much, Rosalind. If you wanted if you wanted to just tear this thing up, you know what? I don't think it would matter. I don't think it would matter. <laughs> Lisa, she said she was thrilled to receive the pink sky sunflower fill for Christmas. And then she says, as I unwrapped it, I saw it was purchased at TJ Maxx at hopefully a good price. I began putting the border together, as I always do. Yes, that is correct, Lisa. That is how people put puzzles together. You start with the border. Not with this one. Not with this one. And she said, I noticed how several pieces would fit one piece, making it impossible to put it together. Thank you so much, Lisa. Thank you for telling me I'm not crazy. And then she said, I also noticed the picture was slightly off from the border pieces I was able to put together. The pieces were poorly cut. What a shame. Would not recommend this brand. Wasn't even worth rating. One star was too good for this puzzle. My cat's listening to me talk. I swear sometimes when I do these videos, she thinks I'm talking directly to her. Roslyn. Rosalind. There she is. Look at them pretty apples. Anyways. And then this person said, putting this puzzle together was the worst experience ever. The pieces were identical, making it nearly impossible to assemble. After several painstaking hours, I finally, finally managed to get it finished, only to find several small bits of pieces were missing, so there were holes in the puzzle. Very maddening. They even included a picture of theirs. Look at her. Look at her. She's helping. You know what? Yeah, Ros. Go ahead, please tell me where that goes, if you can. Can you show, can you show me where that goes? Do your cat senses know better than me? I hope, I hope they do. And then this person, you know, summed it up pretty well. They said, horrible pieces can go in wrong places. That's true, that's true, they can go in wrong places. And, uh, it's not fun, it's not fun. <laughs> she got me. She got me. Rude. Rude, Roz. No comment. This person says, I bought the pink sky. And look at that. She destroyed part of it, but you know what? It doesn't even matter. Because I was gonna have to redo it anyways. It doesn't matter. She also ran out of the room because I told her to stop. Okay, this person says, I bought the pink sky harvest pumpkins, 1,000 piece jigsaw puzzle at our local Marshalls, and want to let people know that it's the worst manufactured jigsaw puzzle I've ever seen in my life. The pieces are not cut properly, and therefore it was absolutely impossible to finish. It's just the first puzzle we've not been able to finish. And then this is in all caps, okay? This is in all caps. They said, do not waste your hard-earned money on this brand of puzzles. What have I been telling you this entire video? What have I been telling you this whole video? Do not waste your money on this. Do you see this? Do you see this jig time? I mean, it even comes in this really nice can. It comes in a can. You get a photo with it. It's got an art print that you can frame. And I was like, oh, this is beautiful. I've never seen anything like this. Don't buy this brand. Save yourself. And this is the last review. It says all the pieces fit together, so there's no way to tell if you have it right. So frustrating. I threw it away after an hour. So yeah, I thought I would get on here and I would warn you guys if you like to do puzzles. Also have a little bit of chaotic ASMR for you, because um, that's fun sometimes. A little bit chaotic, a little bit aggressive, you know? She destroyed it over there. That's fine. I would have to find those pieces. But you know what? Some pieces may just be missing. There may just be missing pieces in here that I don't know about yet. So that's gonna be super fun. Super fun. Yeah, don't buy this brand. 
and uh, after this is over, I may just burn it. Anyways, I hope you have a good night. 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 And never buy this. Do you see this? Don't ever buy it. Sweet dream.